Hello everyone and welcome to another class of AWS Direct Connect. Today in our class we are going to discuss about network requirements for Direct Connect. So to use AWS Direct Connect, so we user network must required to meet these conditions. Now what are the conditions? The very first is that it must be co-located with AWS Direct Connect location. That means whatever the user network, it should be co-located with AWS Direct Connect location. User must be working with an AWS Connect partner who is a member of APN, AWS Partner Network. Or the user must be working with an independent service provider so that it can connect with AWS Direct Connect. That means whenever you use a network, we want to connect a user network with AWS Direct Connect. We require to check that whether your network is co-located with Direct Connect location or, or user must be a working partner with or a member of AWS Partner Network or it should be an independent service provider to connect with Direct Connect. It supports both IPv4 and IPv6 communication protocols. AWS Direct Connect supports a maximum transmission unit of 1522 bytes on a physical connection layer. That means we have 14 bytes Ethernet header, 4 bytes VLAN tag, plus 1500 bytes IP datagram and 4 byte FCS. So let's discuss about list. That means for AWS Direct Connect, virtual interfaces per Direct Connect connect connection is 50 limit is 50 aws active aws connect connection per region per account is 10 and routes per bgp which is border gateway protocol session 100 then we have routes per bgp session on a public virtual interface 1000 number of connections per link aggregation group 4 and number of link aggregation groups per region is 10 now, some of these limits can be increased on request, such as active AWS direct connect connections per region per account. That means we can increase this limit. Also, we can increase number of link aggregation groups per region and number of connection per link aggregation groups. These are some parameters that we can increase the limit. Now, what are the parameters that number of active AWS direct connect connections per region we can increase. We can increase number of link aggregation groups per region and number of connections per LAG. Rest of the components limit does not increase on request. That means we cannot increase the routes per border gateway protocol session. We cannot increase routes per BGP session on a private virtual interface and virtual interfaces. Rest Three, we can change on request. So this is about AWS Direct Connect. Thank you so much.